Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. So here we are at the new setup, the new place. All right, got a new background for y'all, a new top-down view for y'all. Oh, let's start this first video at this new place, guys. Talking about, bam, this is an iPhone 6s. Here we got 15.8.4. It's actually the update that just came out, I think. Uh, by the end of the March so this iPhone 6s is still supported by Apple crazy I know um, in this video we're gonna do something that I thought was impossible legitimately impossible a couple of years ago but we can do this right now so in this video we're gonna turn this iPhone 6s running iOS 15.8.4 to just like this guy right here settings oh look at that speed general about iOS 9 iPhone 6s. We're gonna downgrade this iOS 15 iPhone 6s from iOS 15.8.4 back to iOS 9. Without any further ado, let's go to the video, shall we? All right, guys, so the first thing that we're gonna do is gonna open up our browser on our computer here and then go to this website here, sep.lol. And the tools that we're gonna use is called Turdus Merula. And it's made by all these three people, guys. So big thank you to these people for creating this such an amazing tool, man, that I have no idea. This is this is exist, guys. I have no idea this is gonna be existing, but thanks to the creation of all these people, man. This tool uh, works with the A9 and the A10 chip, guys. So it works with the iPhone 7 as well. But the reason I don't do the iPhone 7 right now is because they don't, they have some problem with iOS 10, guys. So you can see here, A10X iPad Pros as well as some iPhone 7 will run some issues, not be able to activate after restoring into iOS 10 because the tools need the latest baseband, which is different than, I, than the iOS 10 one. If you guys don't have any SHSH blobs safe, with these older iOS devices, you will not able to boot untethered. What is untethered, you guys might ask? And that means it's turning off and on the phone like normal. The battery runs out, you guys can turn it off and on like normal. So without any SSH blobs, we need to boot in the tethered way, which is plugging the phone or the iPad to the computer every time you want to turn on the phone or if the battery runs out. First thing that we're going to do is going to first download this one, download for Mac OS, we're going to download the tar file or download mine. I almost forgot here guys that this tool right now is only for the Mac guys and I think I found one for Linux but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below for Linux users guys. Now the second thing that we're going to download is of course guys the IPSW or the iOS firmware. We'll go to the IPSW.me website here. We'll go to the iPhones and gonna scroll down and pick your device. Mine is a 6S. Alright. We're gonna scroll all the way down here to iOS 9. We're gonna pick between 9.0 or 9.3.5 right up here. We're gonna pick up, let's see here, 9.0.2. No, 9 let's go. Now there's a little problem here. I don't know if it's because of the Apple server or something. I'm not so sure. But like I said, as I'm recording this video right now, April 14, 2025, if I click here download, it will just keep saying this. Not found on accelerator. Um the only way as of right now I found already to fix this problem is to use a download manager. So you guys can download a download manager, you guys can find it on Google, alright? And it will paste the link automatically, but you gotta go all the way to the beginning here guys. And here delete the S from HTTPS so it's not secure. Hit OK and then it will find the file. And you hit downloads and there you go fast download speeds all right guys so we got all the tools downloaded here now what we have to do here is connect our iphone to the computer here open up open up all right thank you plug it to the computer here now there is a written uh, tutorial here on the website if you guys scroll down here click on this one tether downgrade and just scroll down here until you see all the written tutorial here all right okay so first things first gonna open up terminal terminal there we go and then we're going to type in cd space and drag this little icon here to the terminal window bam and then we're going to paste this command that is from the ios cfw guide website hit enter and then next we're going to type in dot slash hit enter and then it will sit out there waiting for device in dfu mode now i go to dfu mode by pressing power and home for four seconds and then let go the power button and keep holding the home button for 10 seconds all right so one two i'm gonna type in the 
SDK and then drag your iOS 9 or this your desired downgrade IPSW and enter here we go and i think we are now doing the checkmate oh look at that so we're gonna look here at our turdus medula folder here all right so we're gonna go here and go to this block file so we need this file here pte block file to restore later with our device all right and then we go to this command here in enter and then we will put back our, back our phone to dfu mode okay we found the dfu device now Okay, phone reboot it. Now rerun this command. DFU mode. All right, we're good. The time has come to restore the iPhone. So type in dot slash. There you go. There's the PT block in the block folder again. Drag it to there and then to your IPSW iOS 9 folder. Add it enter. Here we go. Pick number one again. If we want to erase all, we be caps lock. Y-E-S Congo image send We are uh, we are finally restoring guys Oh No we still have the checkmate Oh Waiting for device to enter restore mode Are we actually Oh yeah we are Oh here we are Oh man after so many tries Alright guys so the restore is finished And uh, like the usual tether downgrade that we did it always gonna jump us back every time we boot the device to the recovery mode. So we'll use the Turdus Mirula tool again to boot the device. And run this command every time you want to start our device, all right? So dot slash. And then drag the one that is from the PTE block one, all right? The P we need this, we did this, we did this one for it to boot. PTE block pin, drag it to the terminal folder and hit enter. Enter the FU, one, two, three four here we go we're initiating checkmate checkmate they're just asking us question man checkmate no checkmate my man okay found download mode device oh there we go we just i just plug and unplug the device and it suddenly just done it Oh, I actually started with. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, 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 we're downgraded, guys. But don't don't get your hopes up first, because I think there's a problem with iOS 9 on the 6s, and that is the da activation issue. So we'll see here. Can we activate? All right. Can we activate in Indonesia? Oh, we can! All right, nice. Enable Touch ID will work, of course, because with this tool, SEP is enabled, guys. Oh, set up Touch ID later. Don't send. Oh, yes. We are definitely on iOS 9, my friends. Look at that. Oh, 9.02. Next, welcome to iPhone, guys. Here we go. In three, two, one. Oh, iOS 15. <laughs> iOS 15 is already here, but there's no wallpaper. Why is there's no wallpaper here? To the settings? Dang, iOS 15 is already coming up to us just like that, huh? Okay, we have to block it, that's what I mean. You can see your general about BAM 9.0.2. Amazing, 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 guys. Thank you to Turdus Merula once again for this amazing tool that we can finally use to downgrade again the same iphone 6s you can see the difference here oh the old control center there ah 9.3 got the night shift guys 9.3 got the night shift 9.0 does not you can see there on 9.0 we got this black spot on the blue thing here the black spot versus 9.1 or 9.2 or newer we did we did they don't have the black spot anymore hear that hear this hear this hear it again oh so like i said in the beginning here uh touch id will be working because with turdus merdula the sep are good all right the sep are good so we are we can use touch id uh there yeah, look at that and now I just do this oh <laughs> 
This one is so back. Oh, let's go to camera here. Let's go. Wow. Oh, look at that. The camera works, guys. The camera works. Let's see video here. I think also an iOS an earlier version of iOS 9, we don't have a 3D touch toggle at the settings here. As you can see there, we don't. With 9.3, we do. And let's not forget the feature that they remove in iOS 15, and that is the beautiful, beautiful live blue wallpaper here. Do this. Let's tap and hold. Oh, look at that. So I'm gonna show you guys again here. If you guys, the, if your phone ran out of battery. Oh, you turn on the phone. Let me turn on the phone here again here. So with your phone condition like this, plug it in into your computer. CD space, go to your tour this Merdula here, drag this little guy up in the terminal window, and then run this command again here. The TP command, and then drag this block file, the PTE block file to your terminal, All right? And hit enter, and then we're gonna go to DFE mode, See, this is what I'm keep stuck in, guys. You can see there is a question mark. It says checkmate, and then yeah, I don't know what to do. So let's see if I unplug the phone and replug it. Will it do it? Yep, it did. So that's what you gotta do, I guess. So when it says checkmate, unplug the phone, replug the phone. The checkmate will run. As you can see, the checkmate is running, and the phone will now boot supposedly. Yep, it is. If you guys affected with the setup screen, the activation screen, luckily, I don't think in my country uh, has a problem. I mean, let me, you can see here, this 6S, this works fine because if you connect to Wi-Fi, you oh, scary people. There you go, it, it works. Let's see here, if I go to a website to block my update, install, 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 restart, and it just works, it just boots. Luckily, there is so battery, Wi-Fi is connected. As you can see there, general software update. No update, my man. No, 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 no. So yeah, guys, there you go. That's how you guys downgrade your iPhone 6s. All right. I, I'm sorry about the, the angle, guys. All right. I'm still learning about this this top-down view angle, which way to put the phones. All right. I'm so sorry, guys. But yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace, peace.